It's like that, right? Where it's just like she said that it does not it's not that she takes too long that makes her suspicious. Exactly. She said it too fast is what makes her suspicious. Uh to to roll off of that, would she Ah, uh, there's a little bit of a distance. Would she be able to try and like do the the kind of aura reading thing on her? Because she's like, okay, I know something is up, but I don't know exactly. You can, what. although let's let me make sure the aura reading is for like weakness and pain and stuff like that. Okay. It's not That's it's not reading that. categorical type yeah. or stuff like that. So just I, you can still do it. I'm just making sure that we're aligned on what it does. Because when you saw Gavola do it, that's what it did. Like if there was a difference in types of pain, you would catch that, right? So like right. if something was poison versus bludgeoning versus you know radiant burns, you would catch a difference in that. Yeah. Well, so I if she's like having touched, some... if she's hurt in the mind, <laughs> I guess yeah. is the way to describe I, it. I feel it, like if that's... she's under some sort of influence, that I can would be relate. An exploitable weakness kind of thing, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. Only one way to find out. So, uh, roll me a wisdom check. No prof. Doesn't Imagine being hurt in the mind. Out. Couldn't be me. <laughs> this guy is subject to a vicious mockery. You try to activate this sense, and the world for a moment just see the world around you seems in pain, and you have to turn it off immediately. Right, desecrated area. Uh, it's not a point of desecration, but it is parallel to such. Right, you're not that in the sense of desecrated area. You're not reading that this place is cursed. You're more so reading that it's, it's in pain. Mm. Right, so the world could be in pain without desecration. Right, if I don't know, like some like troll was vomiting his like guts onto the ground everywhere. Can what you can imagine that? <laughs> what a weird thing to bring up like, from a previous campaign. Anyways, uh, yeah, she'll while well, well, this uh, very kind lady is going through her whole list. I think Morgan would see. Kind of the fact that she's a little off. Try to do that. Quickly turn that thing off and just kind of like, um, probably like prop herself here, like leaning with her back against the glass. And we didn't set up signals or anything, but she'd probably like tap Alexander on the wrists as like a something's up kind of thing. <clears throat> uh,. Oh yeah, potatoes too. Oh huh? wow, that is a as a uh, interesting repertoire portfolio. I'm much of a farmer myself, if I'm being honest. But that's why I asked for your expertise. And and, and uh, he does he does like a small chuckle as he kind of like uh, throws the chuckle over his shoulder at Oriana. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, 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 I take your tap. <laughs> but hmm. So, her her dialogue her little spiel there was too quick. You wouldn't catch that. Only Morgan does. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, you would detect that there's nothing. How to say? She's not forcibly, actively herself of her own volition doing that. Right. Right. So she is not, as we were saying, there's not a script in her mind that she's reading to you from. Like she is genuinely saying that. Mm -hmm. Morgan oh, would yeah, catch that. Mix. Those are your thoughts, colored by the lens of mental control, but colored. Uh, nonetheless, so they're still your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, let the wolf think it's their idea situation. Exactly. Uh, well, in that case, the only other thing I could think of before we head out is as, try... as Morgan's, like, like tapping you, like... The... No, it, it was just, like, once, like, I... one double tap on the wrist or something. Something you might not notice normally, but, like... It's out of the... Ah, something someone normally wouldn't if... notice, but it's odd in this case. Especially since we're looking mm -hmm. for information on this lady. If you need even more stalling, so I can start going off about produce and farming. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think you need stalling, because it doesn't look like we're going to be able to get into the back room now, because she is quite busy. Or hmm. she's, she's, she's quite present. What What yeah. do you want, Hundo? Get a seven. Oh. Get a seven. I sort of want you to roll high in this case. Okay. Get a seventy-six. I okay. want you to. You got a sixty. Okay. Well, that's I mean, that's kinda... mid. That's yeah, pretty I have mid. One use of the trickster's coin. Do you want me to roll high? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Salas? Yeah, if you use the trickster's coin, uh, I think Fred should roll. <laughs> yep. I want to roll on that one. I know, right? I'm like I it. mean, that'd also be good and, and bad. I don't know. Yeah. You're giving me mixed signals, Crash. That Do being it. said, <laughs> the group seems totally for using it, so go ahead. 
right. Just no one get any more nat ones because I can't do shit about oh it. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's well, now it sounds like, that's it sounds like we're all now it sounds like we're all aiming for something interesting to happen so I'll I'll, I'll count it Alessander hello how much do you guys want to get back there <laughs> very <laughs> because what I have a hunch a and a detective always follows their hunch Okay. If Columbo taught me anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Go. I know. Okay. Just, oh my god. Okay. The warmth of the lantern dims for a moment. Oh god, he's dying. It, if anything, it goes quite inversively cold. Henrietta will now be subjected to the suggestion spell, but you have to be the one to say what the suggestion is. Is. No. <laughs> didn't, even, it has, didn't even have to use the spell slot. <laughs> it has to sound well, reasonable, right? Yeah, it has to sound reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, she fails. How, how, how long does it uh, need to be? Um, didn't say how, a, I it's, it's, like, it's, like, it's like a one sentence, two sentences. Yeah, limited to a sentence or two. It, it's not it's specific in like work kind of like sending in that is, case. So. Yeah. Uh, he says, a I think he says, uh, you know, the guard seems to be out in full force. I think your shop will be safe if you go look for Svenja yourself. Maybe you should. Well, be quicker. She thinks about Fran. I suppose. Um We are getting towards sundown and Would you guys mind watching my shop for me? Not, oh, at not at all. No, I'm fine. not going to scour the whole town, but just ask people where the vessel are. Take right. your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Of course. Oh, Kurt nod. She leaves. Start getting here. Fucking Scott, go, let's go! <laughs> Can we all fucking jump the gun? Let's go! Let's go! You guys begin making your way behind um, the counter. <laughs> Before before we like really go in that, uh, we should probably go over here and see if there's blinds and just cover the windows. There are not any, I'm afraid. Ah shit! It's just it's an, it's just an open it. it's just an open window. Like you you, you go to a mall, there's not blinds in the mall windows, right? So it's like that. Mm -hmm. This is a, this is a good town, so no one, no one really does any crimes here. Cool. Plus, Until just argue that we're just looking for extra stock in the bag. I don't fucking know. I mean, with Sidora up front and people told not to approach us. I mean. <laughs> Honestly, they they probably would be distracted by you. Well, not to approach you. No one said that. Oh, never mind. Just the children can't be cautious because the parents stop them physically. No one said that either. Mm -hmm. Right, right. It's not like you guys got the actual memo of what they what yeah, happened in it, town, right? It, no, it's just but... there's a higher guard presence and people are giving us a Stopping bit of a birth. That's kind of how it comes. Yeah. Across. We'll find Can out. We... Stealth, mm -hmm. just to because I'm paranoid about this. Can I stealth just to is, not be seen in the windows as much? Um, I can. You I would have a really them. hard time doing that. I'm, there yeah, is nowhere for you to really. It's a glass case with a glass window, so it's like it's not yeah, really it's, much it's, place it's to hide. It's, 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 it's a shop designed to show its interior, yeah. so you'll be enticed to buy it. Actually, why else? Crazy. <laughs> okay, stupid thing. So in we've case, got Sajar uh, keeping watch. Do we still want someone at the counter at all, or? Oh, um, you guys could be fucking sponge round. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I will say, is there like a, a close sign? There is. Just uh, reach over there and uh, flip from open to closed. <laughs> yeah, that's like right here. Right here. Ah, just so okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, can, you can you change this doorway to Uh, yeah. Star Skull! Morgul will just stay over here. It's like an early alert system. Mm hmm. If you hear me whistle, uh, I mean someone's coming towards the door. Are understood. Yes. Uh, are any of these three doors the one that oh. uh, the Sajar saw outside? Uh, so, any of these three doors? Specifically? No. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Going to the left, the left door, it leads to a bathroom and a staircase. So, another door that leads to the bathroom, and then the stairway leads up. It's the up. back left door, the one that slides in the front of, leads to a storage room. That's where the back door leads. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the one in the back right is another workspace. 
another workspace. Okay. Yeah, that that's where the actual like baking and stuff happens. Okay. Um, Two doors here. Where I am. Uh, at. <laughs> well, no, it's one double. Oh, door. I see. Sorry. Uh, Alison will say, "I got stairs here. Uh, one of you come with me upstairs. The other check for any trap doors in either of those rooms." Skips uh, on over. It's fine. I can, I can check. I'll check the workroom first. Really hoping I don't find any fingers in mixing with the greens. <laughs> yeah, it's don't smell blood or see any red aside from that of jam and raspberries and strawberries mm. and oh and sugar. I'm smelling and human berries and lingon berries and the human berries these berries huh? wait, 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 what? <laughs> human berries <laughs> of what <Huh>? what genre <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know what you're talking about um initial roaming investigation um, okay uh, the other the two of you go the other two of you head upstairs mm-hmm. you go upstairs um, oh, oh you need it I you need guys- it go upstairs, uh, you enter into the living space. It's not terribly big in terms of, like, I don't know, against sovereign home designs, but it's for a mother and a child, it's pretty good. It's, uh, have you guys ever seen Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Mm-hmm. Something like that. Except, you know, in Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, there's, like, three people in there and there's only one bedroom, whereas this one, there's actually two bedrooms and stuff like that, so. Nice. <laughs> we get upstairs, yeah. Alexander and Silas are are nodding, and we're just like, yep, they're poor. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to fucking be a genius for that. Uh, it's a pretty well off, like, in, this, in terms of, like, furniture and stuff like that place. Just, you know, don't, don't have a lot. Fair enough. No guidance, because you're not within 10 feet of Alexander. Mm-hmm. Uh, on an 8, no, there's no trap doors or human body parts around here. This is just, it's just a very pleasant room. She's just, there's lots of ingredients. It's just very fresh. Paris you step into a red puddle. You're like, huh, that's a weird color for water to be. You move on. I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she sees the thing there. No, your characters, I, I hate, I hate D&D campaigns where it's like, oh, I rolled a now one. So my character's suddenly Helen Keller, right? I hate, I hate that so much. Because like your characters don't gain an extra chromosome in the span of this roll in the game <laughs> and lose it the next roll, right? No. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah. If you guys roll badly, it's because because like the world just doesn't give you the answer. You don't spot something. It doesn't make you blind, deaf, or dumb. It just you just don't see it, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. If I ask you guys, uh, what was a, what was a facial expression of the last person you saw twelve hours ago? You probably aren't gonna remember that. Mm-hmm. Your characters might though. That doesn't make like. Doesn't make you guys stupid. It just means that the task at hand is really specific, and you guys just don't have it. Right. Um, so in that, that vein, did you look just... around in this back ba- bakery area? Uh, do you smell like uh, like fresh baked goods and stuff like that? Maybe something for tomorrow morning or some prep work <laughs> and stuff like that. No, you don't see any severed body parts, puddles of blood, or puddles of anything aside from flour. Um, mm-hmm. But you know, uh, you can even see the footprint. Well, not footprints, the shoe marks of like where she was moving through the room and stuff like that. Because there's flour on the ground, so you just sort of make a trail as you walk by, and wind flow pushes flour around and stuff like that. Sort of like dust. Yeah. Uh, is she able to try and like hide any footprints that she might leave, or is the wind pretty much just going to take care of that? Yeah, uh, roll me your stealth. Yeah. C- could I know, this? This isn't stealth like of that. like being. If you cast Pass Without Trace, you would scrub the entire room of any and all traces. Oh, yeah, okay, no, no, no. So it would, that would include her traces. Yeah, as well. yeah, that, that's suspicious enough. Ah! That's oh, not girl. suspicious. Oh, I, I, I cleaned your uh, your shop there. I hope you don't mind. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you wow. can do that. On, a, on, a nat, on a nat one, yeah, you are. You re- come to a realization of like, oh, yeah, there's flour in here. And you're just like, she looks I just, I'm already in the room. Oh, I'm already shit. in the room, so you're just like, I can sneak on my way out, but on the way in, those those prints are there. Yeah. Can she just try and, like, oh, no, so do. Fuck, man. Um. I mean, there's, like, brooms and stuff around if you want to begin actually, like, cleaning up the place. To be but... honest, that might be the, like, least suspicious option, to be honest. Not a bad choice. Yeah, fuck okay, she'll do that. Yeah, she'll do that. <laughs> yeah, you go over, there's, like, a broom in the corner and begin sweeping away, like, all the flour to the point where you're obfuscating her prints, your prints, and just generally cleaning Everything. the place. Just yeah. pretending she's being polite and not sweeping. Yeah, just, I don't know, roll me your dex, I guess. I don't know, like, roll me a dex yeah. check to see. My, my cleaning check. It's, it's more over, like, how fast you do it. Yeah. Yeah, it probably only takes, like, I don't know, five minutes. Yeah, You're not, like, cool. getting down in there and stuff like that. You might want to mop for that. But... Down under. No. But, yeah, you do clean cleaning. Yeah, apply cleaning. 
Yeah. Is she able to check out the next room as well? Preferably at a better success rate, or...? Yeah, there's luckily no flower in this room. Uh, but looking around, there's a lot of boxes, or... Well, I guess uh, some crates, as well as, like, some sacks of flour. Uh, little bins for eggs and so on and so forth. Um, but you don't spot anything. Well, aside from the back door that leads out and everything, but nothing. No, is there... Yeah, nothing that doesn't seem like out of place, like any boxes or crates. That... No, a lot of the crates are opened already. So you can sort of see the contents of them. And some of them have, like, you know, jams stored in their crates and stuff like that. Some of them have, like, jugs of milk, things, butter, things of that nature. But nothing that strikes you odd. Uh, you're not a culinary expert yourself, but even you yeah. can have a general idea of what goes into a pastry. Is there any, like, paperwork that might be, like... Mm. Um, order forms or something, things that are transaction. Uh, no, that would be in a that'd be in a separate ledger. Yeah, okay. But no, she wouldn't have anywhere like camp. Well, apart from like maybe the till, I guess. Looking behind, there isn't any like ledgers or anything down here. Meanwhile, yep. <laughs> to the two of you going upstairs, there is an office space up here. So, oh well, there we go. <laughs> so we have an office space and. The office space oh. is, like, it's part of the main room. There's only, like, a couple of doorways that lead to other places in the second floor. Uh, two of them lead into bedrooms. One of them leads into a bathroom. Um, the office space is part of the main living room, right? It's like someone that just made, set up a work-from-home station in their living room. Something like that. Mm -hmm. um, there is another door, which you guys open up, and it's like a uh, storage, like a, not a, a, a pantry. There, a pantry. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, but... Uh, other than that, the place is, you know, pretty small. All things considered, pretty compact. I shouldn't say small, compact. Uh, any sign of an attic? Uh, look, you look around, and yes, there is in the um, pantry. I was going to say covered again. The pantry, there is a little... Is it still called a trapdoor? I guess it is a trapdoor. Yeah, yeah, it would be. It would be called, yeah. It's okay, a, so an off... Trap. Uh, and do, uh, Svenja and her mother, uh, help Henrietta? Henrietta? Henrietta. Henrietta, excuse me. Um, uh, they have separate rooms? They do. Okay. That's it. Um, <clears throat> uh, I'll start checking the office space. You try to get up there. Roger that. Tess was already eyeing it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to do a bit of a hop to grab on, like, a little loop that lets you pull down the attic and the little staircase that comes down with it. Yeah, um, Alexander, safe space. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexander, you go over to the office space area. I guess it's just Tenquid part of the living room, and it has one of those, like, uh, shuttered writing desks. Uh, it is locked. Actually, let me say it. She might. Let me say It is locked. <laughs> Damn. It oh, is totally locked. I think there was like a chance that it might just be left open by like casuality, but uh, not in this case. Uh, but in this case, you found the coin from event. <laughs> oh no! Uh, in this Sorry, case, your arms would are gone. I be able to undo any screws? Hmm? I think in this case, yes. Take a um, little bit, but not tremendously long. Huh? It would take a little bit, but not like like ten minutes or anything like that. Probably like five. Then I'll get to doing that. Find him. Screw him. Yeah. Uh, Sajar, roll a perception check. Uh, using either your charisma or your... A uh, perception check. Using either your charisma or your wisdom. Either one works. Um, roll me, oh, Alexander, your... Uh, okay, perfect. Uh, Alexander, roll me your tinker tools. Um, meanwhile, Silas, you begin uh, going up into the attic space um, with your... It's not eyes of my. Is it eyes of my new tongue? I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. You are kicking up a lot of dust. This place has not been open in a while, so you're definitely. If you think they're that perceptive, then they might notice that the attic was open from all the dust that got kicked up. But, but I mean... you, you, you like un, mm. like it's hard to tell like a bunch of dust patterns. Like flower is obvious. Flower is like white powder on the ground. That you leave perfect imprints in, but dust is dust. Like it's a lot more obscured, and also it naturally accumulates in places. So it's yeah. It and if there's any kind of like windows or anything, Sass might even prop one open a slight bit to be like, oh, uh, not in here, unfortunately. Here. 
Not in the pantry. Bad in the storage. attic, I mean. No, there's nothing in the no one's the attic. The attic <laughs> is this the attic is the space between the roof and the roof. Fair enough. Yeah, so you enter into the attic, leaving the dust back there. Um uh, Alessandra, that'll be Dex. Dex. Hey. Um as you ascend in here, uh you don't really see <laughs> Very good. Uh, you don't really see much. The only, the, the only thing, if anything, you see in here aside from like dust, spiders, cobwebs, that sort of thing, is a uh, small chest. All right, shimmy on over. It's about like I guess the size of a Footlocker. <laughs> no, don't don't be frothing yeah, in the mouth at that. I know. Uh, it is uh, unlocked. It's Hell a locker yeah. for your feet. <laughs> I don't worry about locks Lock here. for your hurt. Uh, well, <laughs> they'll do a, uh, you know, like a little look over and be like, okay, is this anything like obviously uh, trapped or anything? They're not the best at finding traps, but they'll give it a try. Raw investigation advantage because you have yeah. the eyes. Yeah. Eyes okay. Amazing. 11, or not bad, no, no, you don't have guys. 10. Garbage Ten. This, might, this might be surprising. But the civilian does not have a trapped chest in her attic. What? <laughs> oh my god. You, you do a once over, you're very sure that it's not trapped, and you mentally think to yourself, if this is trapped, I'm losing a little bit of faith in humanity. Yeah, that a random say, civilian has a trapped chest in their attic. The role definitely reflects um, Silas's thoughts on this. <laughs> as well as, they probably definite not probably they definitely feel guilty about snooping but you know weirder things have happened whatever listen whatever. they like this family all right you yeah, so anyways, as you <laughs> open up the hurt locker <laughs> about this family uh so you open up the foot locker and you see inside it a, a white cloth a dress of some sort Aww. as well as some other little knickknacks and uh, portraits and stuff like that Eat it. Eat the no, I'm not gonna eat or what I assume to be wedding dress. Yeah, wedding dress. <laughs> oh, it is a wedding oh, dress. Isn't that interesting? It's a maiden chest. I don't know what it's called in English. Maiden chest sounds dope, though. It does. Yeah, <laughs> looking around at it, yeah, it has a wedding dress, some bits of jewelry. It has to be very gentle with everything. Um, to for some, dress. for whatever reason, a box that has two of the same rings in it. That's crazy. Um, oh. And you actually get to see what <laughs> Henrietta looked like at a younger age. Um, as well as her husband. I'm gonna cry. What's he look like? He looks like Dracula from Castlevania for some yeah, reason. Yeah, what does he look like? Dude, that would be a fucking <laughs> dude. That, that would be a bad. fucking trip, dude. I got that. Right. Yeah, that'd be funny as shit. No, I thought yeah. the so. Uh, I'm sorry for to be like, so anyway, here's a token. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, to, you know, go, go, this guy, short king, because he actually is a little bit shorter than Henrietta. Hell yeah. So, whereas Henrietta's so like five so eight. He's like five six, we so, so 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 she's a little, especially in like heels or like wedding shoes. She's like a, a good, good bit taller than she's him, got by like half a foot. and stuff like that. But no, 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 no like four inches is like yeah, th like a third of a foot. Yeah, so she'll so he's, the, the the wedding portrait definitely show. Um, there's multiple wedding portraits, but there is one which you could tell from the goofy smiles they have. They were well aware that the height difference is there when the portrait was like set up. Um, mm -hmm. But there are some other portraits where, like, there are there are techniques. I, I know this that they're like phot photographers have for. Oh, your yeah. your spouse is taller than you. Let's try to mitigate the visual distinction of that by like having them sit down in certain positions mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, so some of those yeah. portraits are of those styles and mm -hmm. things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, he, like he is, he is yeah he is human. Un uh, I guess not too surprising that you guys are north of snowfall. Um, <laughs> That'd be crazy if there's something else. Um, so yeah, he's five six, human, green eyes, black hair, you know, <laughs> sort of raven, raven colored hair and stuff like that. Five six, wearing a raincoat, smoking he's a cigar. <laughs> well, I would say, I would say, in one of them, he is smoking a cigar. So <laughs> interesting, interesting. Very wow. interesting. <laughs> so I was like, oh, wow, I this guy looks wife. like a detective. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's her and her husband, late Aww. husband. Yeah, assuming box, we nothing out of order here. So it has to be very delicate Don't with everything. Feel... Put everything back the way they saw it. Uh, roll Get me your sleight of hand. <sighs> okay. 
Got a 20. This is where you deserve a 20. Oh, you're slightly hand. Please. Slightly <laughs> handed. Okay. <laughs> well, that's in pretty good. Yeah, it's not a yeah. monumental task. It's just more of a, like, how successful I are you at it. at it, right? So you put everything back and put it back where it came from. <coughs> nice. Uh, yeah, meanwhile. Nothing else. Nothing, nothing else up Cool. Mm. Covered in actually, now. Actually, what's your passive perception? There, there passive. is one other thing. Oh, my passive perception is 20. Oh. You would see, because there's like the support beams up here as well, because that's how roofs work. work. <laughs> yeah. Um, the the chest was next to one such beam, which there's a lot of beams up here, so not the craziest thing. Uh, you do see something etched into into it. <laughs> oh, what? that's going to be the fucking mission. What? It, what's, I'll type it uh, what's etched on it? <laughs> I'll type it too. Okay. I love you forever, Henrietta. Aww. It would be carved, no? If it's wood. I, it would I be am carved. vampire hyphen Henrietta's husband. <laughs> now I'm yeah. crying. Here is my true name if you need to destroy me. Yep. So, meanwhile, um, Alexander, you begin undoing, dismantling the uh, closing mechanisms of latches and stuff like that on this writing desk, and in, at a 20 fucking 7, in pretty fast time, uh, you open it up, just like little shutters on the writing desk, and you see uh, a couple of books, some of them are ledgers, one of them is like wide open, like in a manner similar to what the mayor has in his office in like an accountancy book, uh, but way smaller because that one was fucking huge. Um, there's one such that's open, a couple of others that are like sort of stored off to the side on their own like little shelf rack. And then a couple of uh, what you assume are like this world's equivalent to like fiction books, fantasy books. Ooh, yeah, yeah, just something like a little library area. Yeah, but not library area, but uh, bookshelf area. Uh, first things first. Uh, all all these books. Look and see if there's anything in any of them. Roll me investigation. Okay. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> There you go. What are you looking for? Uh, any notes tucked away? Any hollowed out spaces in the books? Um, I'll, I'll start thumbing through like the actual contents of them uh, mm -hmm. after that. Yeah, uh, hollow spaces? No. There's no hidden spaces in the desk, in the books themselves, or anything like that. Um, any notes? There are a couple of notes here and there, but they're nothing terribly... Mm, anomalous, right? It's just like, you know, uh, oh, this person also bought this, forgot to add, and just sort of tucked in the space that it's uh, the entry area where it's relevant to and stuff like that. Uh, so nothing nothing terribly anomalous. Some scraps here and there. Bookmarks as well. Um, paging through the contents of it, yeah. So there is like a general account accountancy ledger here. Uh, a couple of them, technically, but those got filled up. So you guys are on the... You're, the one that's open right now is the most current one. Mm -hmm. uh, it does, like, at a 28, there is, like, some flux here and there and, like, pricings and stuff like that, but nothing really catches your eye beyond that. Like, this is the closest, like, a 50% discount. Okay. Uh, any, like, names of the people that have been purchasing from here, or no? Uh, there are names of, like, the suppliers that she has, or, like, certain... Like, the, the term we use is vendors. Mm -hmm. Right, so people that supply her flour, eggs, butter, milk... Bacon, stuff like that. Right. Um, and, and thumbing through the, that, that most recent ledger, um, maybe a few entries uh, back as well. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary? No. Um, the thing that probably strikes you the most is what's referred... She, she has it in like quotes like monster meat, but you don't know what that entails from uh, Felicia. <laughs> Monster meat for Felicia. From Felicia. No, from Felicia. From Felicia. Okay. Yeah. In yeah. Felicia is was the person that accompanied Felsic into the building. Right. So they're like the the region's wayfinders and rangers. Mm hmm Hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's the only thing that stands out. Then uh I'll uh close these books, uh put them back uh, in, in whatever pile they were arranged in. Uh maybe not exact, and uh get to putting the uh the drawer back in place. Roger, roll me a slide of hand. The reassembly will be as part of the Tinkerer's Tools check, but... Yeah, nice. but you put them back in their place. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think she's gonna 
so, so far I'm not seeing anything that uh, paints her as like a secret uh, super spy. So I don't think she remembers. Uh, like, does anyone here remember what order they put their books in? Uh, depends, but that's really it. Um, only because <laughs> it's been untouched for months. Yeah, <laughs> only only if I put it in a specific order. Yeah. We might have just jump back over a little foot, but here go. Either way, 20 should be good enough. Yep. She hopes so. And uh, uh, you guys regroup back <laughs> on the first floor. Uh, Silas's eyes are red. <laughs> you find anything? Nothing important to our investigation, just, um, memorabilia. <laughs> just emotions. I see. Right. Uh, all right, you, Anushka. Oh, a lot of nothing. By the way, just so you all know, we cleaned our shop because we're being polite. You all know that. Understood. <laughs> okay, glad you spent time on that. Sajar, as you are waiting outside, you do see Henrietta walking down the path with a sort of like pondering, like finger to her chin, sort of like look on her face. As I see her approach, I kind of give a knock on the door and then poof, poof, tap against the glass. Scatter, scatter! I'm going to on the other side. <laughs> group up, group up. No, Sas is going to stand comes... here looking like they were manning the till. <laughs> and as she comes into like earshot, I'm just going to call out to her. Did you find her? No, unfortunately not, but uh, my suspicions were confirmed. Uh, she was going to the captain's house. Um, I'm sure uh, he always sends her back on time, so it'll, it, she does a like, distance with that. It'll be fine. Uh, thank you for watching the shop, though. Um, did anyone stop by? Uh, not while we... Um, not while you were gone. Ah, well, I suppose that's not... She does this with that. Too surprising. Um, thank you. And she opens up the door to the shop and enters in. And she leaves, the door, a, she leaves the door open. <laughs> this door open as the door puts up. And then this ogre rears his big ugly mug oh, and Shut brings his hands over. Her. And he then looks around. Like, oh, this is funny. Well, don't, don't stop for my account. And she just like super casually makes her way behind the counter again as she reassumes the post of shopkeep. <laughs> Says will tap the counter and go around. Right, uh, the, uh... Thank you all for reminding the shop while I was gone. Um, I was telling your friend outside, uh, she's at the captain's place, so... It'll be oh, fine. Oh, that's alright then. I see. Oh, the captain's in? I believe so, yes. Oh. Huh. I would assume so. I don't think she would hang around his place alone. I think she'd get bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good time to do that. But regardless, uh, seems you got the shot back to you. So, oh, uh, he'll uh, walk back over and like lean across the uh, the counter to like to flip the sign back to open. Uh, <laughs> that's way too far of a reach, I'm afraid, because you'd have to bend all the way <laughs> above the counter and then it's like <laughs> a oh, little it's bit like a high control. counter. Yeah. This is a high counter because it's like a display, right? And the 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 sign is like it's a, it's not like a string or anything. It's like leaned against the glass. It's it's oh. inconsequential. Uh, yeah. he, he, he just he, she sees you do that and just sort of chuckles to herself and does it for you. Uh, I'm not much of a shopkeeper. None of us are businessmen. Well, that's perfectly fine. Well, uh, we'll get out of your hair. Need any more uh, babysitting for your shop? Then give us a holler. We'll be in the area. I appreciate it. Um, can all of you roll me a charisma check, please? Absolutely. Uh, oh. You're so out of advantage. Who's the least charismatic oh. out, of, out of us? Take a bar. Uh, I think has, uh, do you want me to do that I've as well like, if I'm outside? Yes. I'll go like a plus one. But I also have plus one. the least charismatic? Well, I had to pick. Because it's two people with a plus one. Uh, don't forget your Ow. guidance. Uh, uh, Ow. Anushka. Ow. Thank y'all. Yer. 18 plus <laughs> Plus Man, that feel when Silas is le less charismatic. Fuck! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, Silas. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it's a, it's a group average. I'm we still got pissed. some good numbers. This is the thing I was supposed to be good at. Do I do title? <sighs> two, four, two, three. I Another think. 22. Plus 12. Plus... I got a 15. 
plus another 22. Oh, it's just three 22s amongst you guys. Yeah, there we go. We will have a 22, please. It's just, it's just Silas tracking us down. Yeah. <laughs> 18.6. Okay. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Very interesting. Who has insight proficiency amongst you? I do. I, do. I have a I have a plus ten. <laughs> Those of you that have insight proficiency will catch that she is appreciative of you guys minding the place in a sort of abstract way, keeping tabs on Svenja like she requested. Uh, compared to the rest of the town, she's probably one of your few friends. That's an actual <laughs> towner. Mm -hmm. Obviously, your out of towner friends are out of town, so not. Yeah. <laughs> not, 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 not good the conversation. <laughs> yeah, someone um, here that's been told whatever is <clears throat> offsetting everyone. Been told, and she's like, "You're fine." Ish. Yeah. So. I care her. <laughs> I could hear that you're like fucking sniffling in real life. <laughs> whatever crash sent, I'm not gonna say it. Broke me. I can't. <laughs> oh, no. oh, perfect. I will love you forever and ever. <laughs> amen. Yep. I actually <laughs> cried, Crash. <laughs> oh, perfect. I appreciate that. Uh, I'm going to type you a thing as well. This is that's, that's isn't a, this is related to that, but not anything, any conjecture for your character. Okay. I'm going to tell you how much I want to do was written on that wall now. You can get to know. <laughs> With no! the cat, it'll break the tiefling as well. You want to see the fucking gif I sent him in response to it? Yes. Oh, I'm going to find it. Is it the crying cat one? No, oh no, that's so much sadder. <laughs> Not the gamer girl giving up on gaming. <laughs> Fuck this, man. I don't think I understand. My pick and Valorant got banned. Mm -hmm.